Outlier detection is an important component in the data analysis workflow. Whether you are determining if your data have collection or input errors, or you are searching for changes in the structure or pattern of the data, detecting observations that fall outside the expected range should be one of the first tasks performed. EViews 14 introduced two sets of outlier detection routines, one for series objects and one for the residuals from an estimated equation object. The series-based outlier routine includes fence or boundary type detection, i.e. any observations greater than or lower than a predefined value are tagged as outliers, time series ARIMA-based outlier detection, and wavelet-based outlier detection. EViews' equation-based outlier routine Tests for outliers using the same methods, but for the residuals of an equation. The view also includes influence statistic based outliers. In this video, we'll demonstrate the series based outlier detection method using some simple GDP data for the US, which we'll fetch from FRED. The resulting work file is quarterly starting in 1947 and ending in quarter 1, 2024. Viewing a quick graph of the series, we can see it has a strong upwards trend, as we'd expect, along with a handful of observations that seem to be outside of the regular pattern. To perform simple outlier detection, we open the series and click on View Outlier Detection. To begin, we will leave the options at their defaults other than turning off graph labels to make the graph a little easier to see. The output is split into sections. The top part shows how many outliers were detected by the different routines, along with the dates and values of those outliers. In our case, four outliers were detected, two from the ARIMA detection and two from wavelets. The fence procedures detected no outliers. The next section shows a graph of the data with any outliers highlighted and displays the two types of fences used. This graph shows one of the pitfalls of fence-based outlier detection. If the data follow a trend or include seasonal patterns, the fences are often going to be too large to detect outliers throughout the whole range of the data. The remainder of the sections show information on the individual outlier detection methods. To alleviate the fence issue, EViews' outlier detection routine offers two ways to remove the trend from the data. Clicking on View Outlier Detection again, we now select the HP filter as a method to remove our trend before detecting outliers. We'll also reduce the sensitivity of the detection routine to only highlight extreme outliers and select the Set Sample checkbox to instruct EViews to set the work file sample to any observations detected as outliers. We can see only a handful of observations were detected as outliers, with two of the four being around the COVID-19 period, as we'd expect. The only observation that was determined to be an outlier by every diagnostic was 2020 quarter two, right as the impact of the pandemic hit the US economy. 